All right, guys, let's get into this because quickly, before we start the draft, I just want to do a quick recap of what happened in the last episode in case you didn't watch it again. I feel just awful about having put that video up, but it is what it is. So anyway, if you didn't get through that video or you just skipped ahead, let me quickly go through. We got our asses handed to us by Dallas, swept in four games. The Chicago Wolves, our AHL team, made it to the final, but they lost in six games to the Providence Bruins. So overall, happy with our season, but certainly disappointing. Not surprised we got our asses handed to us by the Dallas Stars. We'll just quickly scroll through player stats. I'm not even going to name anybody in particular. But you guys can take a look there. I should note as well, it is now officially December 26th. I have been up for a very long time after having a pretty solid Christmas. I can admit, not just from like, oh, I got a bunch of good stuff. Although I did, you know, I got the Nest Mini from my dad, which was fucking awesome. And then I handed him his own ass in Tech Mobile. Fucking love Tech Mobile. And, uh, yeah, got a couple of other little things. Got a nice... Set of hockey cards, man. Didn't get anything. I was hoping for some big rookie cards. Didn't get anything too major. Chris Bigris, Christian Dvorak. Uh, got a Jake Allen jersey piece, which was kind of nice. But overall, nothing that's going to rake in a shitload of money. But it can at least add. I can at least add to the collection. But overall, it was a great day, you know, being with family. Hope you guys had a good day as well, you know, whether or not you, I guess, celebrate it or not. Even if it was just another day to you, I hope your day went well. Anyway, now that we have gone through the awards, you guys pretty much get the point. We got our asses handed to us by Dallas. Let's move on. Let's see if we need to first check, of course, retired players. But let me know down in the comments below, of course, because I genuinely am intrigued. What the hell did you get for Christmas that's uh, notable? What did you get? Make me jealous, is what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but let me know. Let me know how you guys, uh, how your day went. There are the draft lottery results. Minnesota with the number one pick. Not too bad. I don't even remember how many draft picks we have. Obviously, we set up the series. And wow, Andre Markov doesn't retire. That's going to be helpful. Um... Obviously, I set the draft so that you had the, uh, it wasn't authentic. So basically, every team had one through seven. They had all their picks. But I, I don't remember how many trades did we make that involved picks, if any. I genuinely don't remember as we will just, I'm just going to quickly again scroll through this list. You guys can take the time to look. If you want to, let's go and check goalies really quick. No goalies retired. Not a single goalie. All right, then. Uh, edit the trade block really quick because that will give me a chance to make sure we don't get a shitload of offers, but also to see, may yeah, yeah, I'll be able to see how many draft picks we have, which is good. I don't want any offers, though, because they will spam the hell out of them, and I plan on doing the entire draft live just like I did with the Bruin series. Fuck me. Oh, God damn it. I went to the wrong spot. Hold on. We'll, we'll fix this. We'll, we'll be good to go. There we go. Add item. That's where we want to be. So let's take a look. Sergachev's already up to an 84. Not too bad. A little bit of progression. Draft picks. Did I even acquire any? Oh, come on. Don't sort it out right. Motherfucker. All right, we have Dallas as second. We have a couple of extra third. Okay, so we did get some draft picks. Jesus Christ. Wow. EA, I'm just trying to sort draft picks by the year. Come on now. You know what? I'm not even going to take off the whole, oh, we want draft picks. Whatever. Let's just move forward. I want to get into this draft and see what we can do. So where is our first pick is the question. Obviously, it will be outside of the lottery. We... Have the 25th pick. Not too bad. I'd like to have a higher pick than that, though. So let's see. Of course, we have our first. And what else do we have that could be worth moving? So we have the two. We have the two seconds, including Dallas's, which we need to get rid of that pick because it's not going to be worth anything. 
We have four third round picks, two fifths, and a seventh. So we don't have that high of picks anyway. But we should definitely... Yeah, well, we could... Yeah, we should get rid of Dallas a second. I mean, that might as well be a third round pick when you think about it because that's going to be at the very bottom. Dallas won the cup. So we will look to do that. I wonder how high up we can trade, though. Let's contact Chicago, Colorado, uh, and then probably Calgary. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can make this work. Let's see if we can trade up and get a slightly better person here. Slightly better prospect, not necessarily a better person. They could be a piece of shit. I don't care if they are. They just need to be able to play hockey. So let's see. Can we tack on, say, a fifth and a sixth with this? Will that go through? It will not. How about just the fifth? No. How about just the sixth? Is that really asking for too much? I mean, I know they have a, a pretty high pick. Will that go through? Straight up, will it go through? No. Okay. Shit. Uh, Colorado was on that list. Let's see if we can get something like this to go through. And that went through. Probably could have gotten more out of that. I don't remember where their pick was. Was it the 20th? Son of a bitch. No, it was 15th. Okay, perfect. No, you know what? That's fine. I'm good with that. So we trade up uh, and we can move up uh, 10 spots. 10 spots to the 15th pick. I am cool with that. So let's sim to our pick. Let's see what happens. Let's see how the first half of the first round plays out. So... As expected, Nolan Patrick goes to Minnesota, Velarde to the Rangers, Heskinen to L.A., uh, Kaler Yamamoto, I won't make that mistake again, goes to San Jose, Rasmussen, Nekas, Nekas, Nikas, who the fuck knows, Tolvin into Montreal, middle start to Buffalo, Matthäus, uh, Ottinger, Oettinger, I have no idea, Alex Peter, ooh, that's a rough pick, that's a rough pick for Ottawa. I feel like there are still some big names on the board here that we could potentially pick up. Let's see if I'm right about that. And indeed I am, and I think I know who I want to take here. Now you have Lilia Grin, who ends up being a decent defenseman. Owen Tippett, Papiagev, something like that. Papugayev, I have no idea. Uh, Nicholas Haig is a good pick. Veselainen would be a good pick. Oh, shit, Clean Costin is there as well. Ian Scott, who I know turns into a good goalie. Kale Fleury as well. Damn. You now, I was going to go for Comtois just right off the bat, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Because, you know, we saw how good he was with the Bruins series. But Veselainen, Costin, I know they're good players. I know Scott. I'm going to go with my gut, and we're going to go with Comtois here. And we will hope in. He is medium elite. All right. Now, I almost... I don't think we have the assets to trade up again. I don't think we do. <laughs> I would love to be able to. We'd probably have to get rid of somebody. But you know what? That might not be the worst idea to try and get rid of somebody. What about Lee Stempniak? How about Lee Stempniak... And Dallas is third? No, they would have too many skaters. Okay, who, who's up next? Well, uh, we have Edmonton, Calgary, Toronto. Okay, that's easy to remember, the Canadian teams. Let's see if we can make this work. That will not work. Calgary. Calgary has the space. We might be able to make this work. The cap situation could be a bit of a problem, but I'd love to be able to trade up and get two first-round picks here. So let's see. We'll do Dallas' third, our third, and we'll try to package in Lee Stepniak and see if we can trade up into the first round again. And again, they'd be over the cap. Son of a bitch. Do they have anybody that we can just pick up that's cheap as shit and we can cut immediately is the question, and it's not looking like it. Okay, Calgary is not going to work. Toronto, can you be our hero? And you should be. You are good. Oh, wow, this should work. Based on the cap they have, 
the contract spots, we should be good to go. So their first round pick, and I want to see if I can tack on anything else, any later picks. Uh, how about your fourth and a sixth? Is that asking for too much? A little bit. How about that? Just the fourth? No. Okay. You know what? We're going to try to make this work, though. We are going to try and make this uh, try to make this work here. I might be asking for too much. Will it just go through for a first? It will not. Okay. Is there anything else we can do here to make this situation work? There is another third round pick. Dallas is next year. So Stemniak and three third round picks over the next two years for what, the uh, the uh, 19th overall pick they have? So let's see, how about we just, can we tack on a fifth? Will that be good enough? Like we might be giving up too much, but I am factoring in that we are going to be a good team moving forward and Dallas is going to be a good team moving forward. That's close to fair value. So a seventh round pick, which I'm willing to take, might be able to get it done. It will not. Shit. I'm just going for it. That didn't work either. Come on now, you guys. This is extortion at this point. Have our seventh. <laughs> Three-thirds, a seventh, and Lee Stepniak. Son of a bitch. Come on. This is extortion. God damn it. Lou Lamorello, you are an asshole. Take this, please. Thank you. Did we give up too much? Maybe. It depends on who we get. But Lee Stepniak is out who, you know, he kind of underperformed. But let's see here. So, Lilia Grin went to Washington. We didn't need that elite defenseman. Kale Flurry went, glad we didn't take him, and Ian Scott's high starter. So it might have been worth taking him. But that means Haig is still on the board. But again, we don't really need the defenseman. So it's looking like it's going to be Veselainen, Kostin, or Kostin, I'm not taking him because I've never been able to pronounce his name or Owen Tippett. All right. I, I was thinking Veselainen, but then Costin was there. And we can only take one. Shit. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, boy. If I take Veselainen, it's going to be you should have taken Costin. If I take him, it'll be you should have taken Veselainen. 18, high top 6. 18, high top 6. I don't think I can go wrong either way. Uh, I'm taking Costin. I'm taking Costin. And he's low elite. Okay, that's not terrible. Although, if Veselainen's high top 6, I probably would have rather had him on the team. Haig is low elite. Veselainen's low elite as well. Okay, so we couldn't have gone wrong. It was just between the Russian and the Finn. Overall, I'm all right with trading up there in both occasions to get Costin and, uh, yeah, to get Costin. I, I, think, I think that was good. I think that was good to get Costin and Comtois. That's not too bad. I'll show you guys the rest of the first round. Cal Foot was still on the board, someone who I wouldn't mind picking up. Jesus, there was low elite all over the place, and I know I didn't set all of these players to low elite, so there is definitely progress that has been made, but overall a very strong first round, let's, yeah, I guess we'll keep, we'll keep going through here, I won't mention every name or potential, but we will scroll through here, because I know people are going to like to see where their players, or who their teams drafted, and all that, so it's all good, Jesus. I'm not sure how this episode's going. Like I said, I'm tired as shit. I hope this has been entertaining so far. And if it hasn't been, maybe we can pick it up here for the last half of the video. So let's see. Next up, we have a lot of options. Nabogov, Gentile. I really don't think I'm going to go for a defender. I mean, maybe? Maybe. So Fogile? Fogile, yeah, he's 21, not a chance. Nolan Keane might not be bad. I don't necessarily want to take Entwistle because he is someone that we, of course, took in the Bruins series. Marcus Davidson, Macaulay Carson. 
No, I didn't almost say Culkin. No, what are you talking about? Uh, J.J. Pichinich, who is overaged. Jim Gleason. Eric Bronstrom. Derek Gentile. Boris Nabokov. I'm leaning towards taking Nolan Keene or potential... Oh, no way. You know what we're going to do? We are going to trade down. I think we're... Yeah, I think we're going to trade down here. And let's try to pick up some later picks because there are some names in there who I know have some value. So, how can we do this? How can we exactly trade down? Minnesota, L.A., is there anybody... Actually, we do have two third-round picks already. Still. That's not too bad. Does Toronto have multiple picks in that? Yeah, Toronto would have multiple picks in that round. So let's swing another deal with the Maple Leafs to get a bit more depth, and we'll give them our pick right now because there's, I can't say for sure that one of these players will be, you know, a decent pick. So rather than take the risk, let's try to trade down and get a bit more depth. So let's see. St. Louis, that's second. Will that go through? Probably not. It won't. Okay. Is there a player I can tack on? How about Dallas is fifth? Will that go through? No. I didn't mean to hit the button again. Son of a bitch. Uh, how about the two fifth round picks? Will that go through? No, it won't. Okay, I might be trying to bite off a little bit more here than I can afford to get. And I, actually, no, attacking on the seventh went through. So the second, two fifths, and a seventh to get those three third round picks back. Well, actually, ours in Dallas, and we also get Toronto's. I'm okay with that. And now we are on the clock with 28 seconds. Uh, actually, no, we're not. Now it's okay. It switched to Toronto. Okay, that's good. So we will sim to user pick here. We'll take a look at what happened at the end of that to see who we passed up on. Uh, Nabokov, medium top six, not bad. I mean, I don't know who I would have gone with, to be honest. Start of the third round, I probably would have gone with Carson. Maybe. I don't know. Tough to say. So I think we made the right choice because those picks weren't looking too good. Although that said, Nolan Keene is still here. And so is Entwistle. The people I'm looking at are Owen Lane. Uh, Schnarr I don't think is too bad. But DiPietro is the big one who I know turns into a decent player. Also in the third round, Jarrett Anderson Dolan, who we have with Boston. So I don't think we'll take him. Jordan Holette, I think, turns into a decent goalie. So we might be taking some goalies here, but maybe uh, Holette... DiPietro, Owen Lane. For now, I didn't think we'd take a defenseman. I'm going to take Keen. If Entwistle is there, I'll take him. That'll be the deal. If Entwistle is there, we'll take him, and we'll have him in both series. Keen's low top four. I'm fine with that. I don't think Entwistle will be there, even though we have another pick pretty soon. Yeah, there's no way he will be. Aaron Anderson Dole went. Holette went. High fringe started to Montreal. Entwistle went as well. So Holette goes very quickly. And a good pick by Montreal. High fringe starter is a good uh, potential to have. So let's see. I think with this next pick we take DiPietro. That's the safe pick. And then Owen Lane will be the hope after that. So let's take Michael DiPietro. High fringe starter as well. Our next pick isn't until 19th. Oh, shit. I'm not risking it because I know I want Owen Lane on this team. Man, I'm making a lot more moves than I expected to. Maybe it's just because of how spur of the moment this was to even record. I was tempted to just go to bed. But let's see. Toronto's third. Would they just do that? No. Okay. Well, at least the AI is not that dumb. <laughs> they're dumb, but they're not that dumb, apparently. Uh, okay, the seventh won't go through. We do need to see, though, if we can trade up here. By the way, when I chuckled there, I think I kind of did like a huh kind of thing, which is awful. Just awful. But it happened, I think. And if it didn't happen, it just happened then. And I'm just digging myself a hole here. 
Will that go through? It won't. Son of a bitch. Come on, guys. How about a fourth round pick next year? Third round this year, and that extra fourth. I had a feeling that would go through. I am happy with that. We have DPHRO. Let's go through, and we will take Owen Lane and hope that he is good enough. He should be. I mean, we did just give up a fourth round pick for him. But let's take a look. Let, let's hope. Let's hope he is as good as I think he is. Medium bottom six. Well, we might have just fucked that one up. For some reason, I was going off of name recognition. And that wasn't completely ideal. Not the worst pick in hindsight, though. Quality has really dropped off. It looks like we should have taken Frost. But since the quality's kind of dipped a bit, I don't think we'll make any more trades. Let's just make the picks that we have now and finish up this draft. Now, again, we have a lot of options. A lot of options. Son of a bitch. Okay, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do? Ryan Matha is like 22. Okay, well, he's 21. Still an overage player. Uh, we got a Finn there. Maxime Fortier. Kyle McLean, Darren Regeer, Benjamin Gleason, Hamilton Bulldogs, Aaron Hayden. Now, do we go with potential or do we go with people projected in this round? Holy shit. Stan Kai Gordoff is a goalie. I, do we take him? Stan Kygardov, except that he's a, he even has the same nationality. Oh, my God. I think I have to take him. Cole Lind is there as well. Son of a bitch. So do I go off of potential? I think I have to now. You know, I don't want to waste too much time here. I don't want to... High fringe starter... Is he going to... Damn it. Oh, what do I do? He's not projected to go until the 5th, though. I'm going to go with Kyle McLean. I'm going to go with Kyle McLean. Please be good. Please. Medium bottom six. All right, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Uh, McKinnon would have been the better pick. Oh my god, do we take Stan Kygord off? How many people will be pissed if I don't? <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Okay. Um, we're probably going to take Gleason. Although Shaw... Had Julian Shaw has some potential. Krivisic, who we've taken before. Jesus, 6'5", 199. Um... God damn, what do we do here? What do we do here? How many picks do I have left? Is this my last one? 90th overall, is this my last pick? I don't remember. Shit. Is this our last pick of the draft? No, we have a fourth left. Okay. If if Kai Gorodoff is available with that pick in the fourth round, we will take him. For now, I'm going to go with somebody. Ah, uh, do we go? You know what? Let's let's go with the guy that had the potential. And that was Julian Shaw. He had the highest potential, I do believe. High 7th D. Cole Lind is there as well. High 7th D or the AHL top 6. Alright. Now we don't necessarily need a defender. We don't necessarily need another defender. And because we're going to take another goalie, I'm going to go with the forward. And I'm going to take Krivisic, who we had in the Nations United series on NHL 16. And we'll hope he is decent. And it's going to make us scroll all the way back through to find out if he is. Medium top nine. There we go. That is a good pick. That is a very good pick. Let's sim to our final pick. Will Kygordov still be available? I have a feeling that he will be. Gleason was high AHL top two, so we made a good choice to avoid him. And did that defenseman go? I don't think he did. Shit. All right. Well, I, I said, I mean, I would probably go with Julian Shaw. 
who has a chance to be decent. But I said I'd take him. Stan Kagorodov, this time in goalie form, and he's low starter in the fourth round. <laughs> oh, my God. That is unbelievable. And you know what? I, I have a feeling about Julian Shaw. Let's try to trade for him as well. Let's try to trade for him. And, of course, as we wrap up this episode after this next pick, we will take a look at some other... Uh, well, we'll take a look at some of the overalls and potentials, although I'm sure, of course, you can see some of them at the moment. Contracts, do we have anybody we can get rid of? Uh, I'll tack on Tanner Caro. Yeah, can, can we do that? Can we tack on Tanner Caro, who is technically under an entry-level deal? No, shit, that's right, they have too many skaters. Okay. We will just aim for draft picks, then. I'm going to be cheap as hell. And we will aim for... A fourth and a fifth down the line. That will go through. Uh, probably shortchanged ourselves a bit there, but that's okay. Because if Julian Shaw is as good as I hope he is, it will be worth it. The American defenseman Julian Shaw is low top six. Not completely ideal, but also not terrible. Overall, a solid draft for this team. And I do feel that way. A solid draft for this team. A lot of moves. A lot more moves than I ever expected to make. And we didn't make too many picks overall, but Comtois, Costine, Nolan Keane, DiPietro. We have some... I mean, that's, that was the thing. Obviously, with the fantasy draft, we don't really have that that solid foundation of prospects. We had to build it ourselves in this draft, and I feel like we've done that. So let's take a look, as I said, as we wrap up this episode here, at some of these potentials. We will go to unsigned. We will start with the forwards. Costine, low elite, is a 67 and 18 years old to start. Comtois, not too far behind, at a 66. From there, it drops off. Krivicic and Lane, both 62s. And McLean, a 61. Not terrible. Defensively, Shaw's a 64. Keane is a 63. And the goaltending, Kai Gordoff, is a 64. DiPietro, a 61. So a lot of projects who can hopefully make some quick progress. But we will have to wait and see. I have no idea what is in store for us as we head in to the rest of the offseason. But we will find out. In the next episode, I'm excited for it, and I hope you guys are too. Like I said, hope you enjoyed this video. Very spur of the moment for me to do this to begin with. Maybe I should have waited until yesterday. Maybe I've rambled a bit too much. Maybe I'm rambling a bit too much right now. I have no idea. But what I can say is I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button to help support my channel. You guys have been amazing. Absolutely amazing lately, and I can't thank you enough. For all the new people, which there are some new people. Holy shit, are there some new people. Welcome aboard. Not sure why you've decided to stay, but I'm glad you did. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. If you're one of the few that haven't hopped on to this incredibly small bandwagon. Like, it's not even a wagon. It's like a raft. Made out of, like, two planks and some fishing wire. I'm rambling again. I will see you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. A plus ending. All-star. Fucking all-star.